Good day, it's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm. Today I'm going to show you how to measure performance using Microsoft Windows PowerShell. And PowerShell comes with Microsoft Windows, um, I don't know, 8, uh, 10, 7, so it's, it's there. Uh, and this is a pretty simple little script that's literally one command, literally, but of course I'm going to just extend it out a bit. <clears throat> so for those of you who want the copy of the script, there's not much to it. <laughs> You'll see what I mean in a second. So uh, with PowerShell, the nice thing about it is you don't need any special editors, compilers. You don't need any of that stuff. So I just have Notepad open, and I call the file copystuff.ps1. That's that's the key, the extension, ps1. So whatever you want, .ps1. And I'm going to put this write host command here. And all that does, it's like an echo command in a batch file. It just puts stuff to the screen. In this case, I wanted to write this following text to the screen, 133 meg copy to the H drive. That way I re know and I remember what it's doing. Here's the command that does all the work. Measure dash command, and then you've got your curly braces open. X copy 113 MB, my network drives H, and the path, slash Y, we'll just overwrite the file if it exists, and you close your braces off and that's it after that write host a bunch of dots so it's just going to put a couple of dots on my screen to break up the output and then my next thing is to send the following to the screen 260 meg copy of the h drive so on and so on and so on so i'm not going to beat a dead horse you pretty well catch on what i'm doing and here's my drive at my local drive where the files are so it's just literally two files and the script and i'm going to go to my command prompt and you have to make sure you're in the PowerShell command prompt. Enter, off it goes. It's copying to the H drive, and then it's copying to the H drive and both size files. So it's really easy to read. It breaks it all down for you, but you can just simply jump to the bottom. Total seconds, 1.37 seconds. If you look at the top, it says seconds one, milliseconds, 374, so on and so on and so on. So this was a smaller file, this was the bigger file. So the smaller file was 1.37, the bigger file was 2.75, and there you go. And it's that simple. You can put this in a batch file, you can run this manually, put it in task scheduler, whatever you want. So you're copying real data from a real computer across a real network to a real server, and the real load on everything in between, including the two endpoints. So now I'm going to just change this up just a little bit. I'm going to go over to my Ethernet adapter, and I'm going to disable it. So watch down here. See, it went, and now it's on my Wi-Fi. So a little simple little test. You know, how does Wi-Fi compare to wired? Let's find out. I'm going to run the same script. Off it goes to the races. And we know the first one was 1.37 seconds, and the first one came back 4.632 seconds. See that? The second one was 2.75 seconds, and this is going to be 8.9 seconds. There you go. So now you know the difference between Wi-Fi and wired. And, and I'm going to make this real easy. As far as Wi-Fi and wired analysis goes, you don't need to get into the initial, well, what band are you using? Is it 2.4? Is it 5 gigahertz? How wide are the channels? Blah, blah. You don't need to worry about any of that. Just measure what you measure. If you don't like it, then you go play with stuff. And you might say, oh, am I connecting to the closest access point? Let me check that. And so on and so on. But every time you make a change, come back, run your script again. Now, ideally, I just ran into this last week with somebody. Ideally, what you want to do is you want to run your measurements five times. That's just my rule of thumb. It's not, it's not written anywhere. And the reason why I like five is because I can drop the high, drop the low, and average three. And that's the way I like to do it. Because sometimes you get a really weird big number, a really bad low number, and you don't want to run with that, right? So just make sure you take more than one sample. Even here, I could have easily in the script, I could have just copy and pasted the same command five times, and there you go. So that's it, folks. It's real simple. Hope you liked it. Have a good day. Bye for now. Bye, 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 bye.